the hour cometh and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Good morning to you. I'm Father Jonathan Rowe. I'm the parish priest at St. Michael's Anglican Church, the church in Kenmount Terrace. It's Monday the 7th of June and we've gathered online to pray the office of morning prayer from the Book of Common Prayer. I'm going to take a few moments to light a candle to symbolize the prayers of the scattered church, which continue to ascend into heaven, even if we can't physically gather for worship. You can do the same along with me if you'd like, and when we're ready, the service of morning prayer will begin on page 6. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord is gracious and merciful. O come, let us worship. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, O oh, that ye would hear his voice, Harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is gracious and merciful. O oh, come, let us worship. The psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 56 and 57 beginning on page 399. Be merciful unto me, O God, for man goeth about to devour me. He is all the day long fighting and troubling me. Mine enemies go about all the day long to swallow me up, for they be many that fight proudly against me. Nevertheless, though I am sometime afraid, yet put I my trust in thee. I will praise God because of his word. I have put my trust in God and will not be afraid. What can flesh do unto me? All the day long they mistake my words. All that they imagine is to do me evil. They hold all together and keep themselves close, and mark my steps as they lay wait for my soul. Shall they escape by their wickedness? O God, in thy displeasure cast down the peoples. Thou keepest count of my wanderings. Put my tears into thy bottle. Are not these things noted in thy book? Whensoever I call upon thee, then shall mine enemies be put to flight. This I know, for God is on my side. In God's word will I rejoice. In the Lord's word will I comfort me. 
Yea, in God have I put my trust, and will not be afraid. What can man do unto me? Unto thee, O God, will I pay my vows. Unto thee will I give thanks. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, and my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Be merciful unto me, O God, be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. And under the shadow of thy wings shall be my refuge, until this tyranny be overpassed. I will call unto God Most High, even unto the God that shall perform the cause that I have in hand. He shall send from heaven and save me, even from the reproach of him that would eat me up. God shall send forth his mercy and truth. My soul is among lions. And I lie even among the children of men that are set on fire, whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Set up thyself, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth. They have laid a net for my feet and pressed down my soul. They have digged a pit before me, and are fallen into the midst of it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing and give praise. Awake up, my soul, awake, lute and harp. I myself will awake the dawn. I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the peoples, and I will sing unto thee among the nations. For the greatness of thy mercy reacheth unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Set up thyself, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the book Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, beginning at the first verse. (laughs) And when all these things come upon you, the blessing and the curse which I have set before you, and you call them to mind among all the nations where the Lord your God has driven you, and return to the Lord your God, you and your children, and obey his voice in all that I command you this day, with all your heart and with all your soul, Then the Lord your God will restore your fortunes and have compassion upon you, and he will gather you again from all the peoples where the Lord your God has scattered you. If your outcasts are in the uttermost parts of of heaven, from there the Lord your God will gather you, and from there he will fetch you. And the Lord your God will bring you into the land which your fathers possessed, that you may possess it. And he will make you more prosperous and numerous than your fathers. And the Lord your God will circumcise your heart and the heart of your offspring, so that you will love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, that you may live. And the Lord your God will put all these curses upon your foes and enemies who persecuted you. And you shall again obey the voice of the Lord and keep his commandments which I command you this day. The Lord your God will make you abundantly prosperous in all the work of your hand, in the fruit of your body and in the fruit of your cattle and in the fruit of your ground. For the Lord will again take delight in prospering you, as he took delight in your fathers. If you obey the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes, which are written in this book of the law, if you turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Here endeth the first lesson. The Office of Morning Prayer continues on page 7. We praise thee, O God, we acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. 
the noble army of martyrs praise thee. The Holy Church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The Father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true, and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God, in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints, in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine heritage. Govern them, and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. The second lesson is written in the second epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians, the tenth chapter, beginning at the first verse. <clears throat> Excuse me, it seems to be resetting itself in the app. Hold on. I, Paul, myself entreat you, by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, I who am humble when face to face with you, but bold to you when I am away. I beg of you that when I am present I may not have to show boldness with such confidence as I count on showing against some who suspect us of acting in worldly fashion. For though we live in the world, we are not carrying on a worldly war, for the weapons of our warfare are not worldly, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every proud obstacle to the knowledge of God, and take every thought captive to obey Christ, being ready to punish every disobedience when your obedience is complete. Look at what is before your eyes. If anyone is confident that he is Christ, Christ's, let him remind himself that as he is Christ's, so are we. For even if I boast a little too much of our authority, which the Lord gave for building you up and not for destroying you, I shall not be put to shame. I would not seem to be frightening you with letters, for they say, His letters are weighty and strong, but his bodily presence is weak, and his speech of no account. Let such people understand that what we say by letter when absent, we do when present. Not that we venture to compare ourselves with some of those who commend themselves, but when they measure themselves by one another and compare themselves with one another, they are without understanding. But we will not boast beyond limit, but will keep to the limits which God appointed, apportioned for us to reach even to you. For we are not overextending ourselves as though we did not reach you. We were the first to come all the way to you with the gospel of Christ. We do not boast beyond limit in other men's labors, but our hope is that as your faith increases, our field among you may be greatly enlarged, so that we may preach the gospel in lands beyond you, without boasting of work already done in another's field. Let him who boasts boast of the Lord. For it is not the man who commends himself that is accepted, but the man whom the Lord commends. Here endeth the second lesson. The Office of Morning Prayer continues on page 9. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, 
and to remember his holy covenant. To perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham, that he would grant us. That we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear. In holiness and righteousness before him, all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people, for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and ever more mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O God, the strength of all them that put their trust in thee, mercifully accept our prayers, and because through the weakness of our mortal nature we can do no good thing without thee. Grant us the help of thy grace, that in keeping of thy commandments we may please thee both in will and deed. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of, this new, of, the, of a new day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who didst stretch out thine arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that every one might come within the reach of thy saving embrace, so clothe us in thy spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know thee to the knowledge and love of thee. For the honour of thy name. Amen. 
I invite your prayers this morning for all those who are in need of prayer, whether they have particularly asked us to pray for them or whether the Spirit of God simply puts it into our hearts to pray. As we make intercession for them this morning, let us remember that we are coming into God's presence with them on our hearts. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. I want to thank you for praying with us again this morning. I hope that these daily services of morning and evening prayer are a blessing to you. And if so, I hope you'll take a few moments to like this video to subscribe to our YouTube channel to make it that much easier to find your way back to us. And if you're really even feel, feeling even more generous, take a moment to share this video with someone that you think might actually appreciate it as well. Hope that we'll see you again, and until we do, be good, God bless, and take care of each other. Bye-bye.